Okay, that witness is the fellow officer who was there the day of that shooting. This letter from a national watchdog group claims two Phoenix City Councilmen crossed the line, maybe even breaking the law, when they called that witnessing officer after the shooting. I talked to one of the councilmen tonight. He admits to contacting the officer, but says he meant no harm. Just days after the shooting in South Phoenix, two city councilmen, Michael Johnson and Michael Nowakowski, called up Sergio Virgillo, the officer who witnessed the shooting of Daniel Rodriguez. We called Sergio and said, hey, Sergio, we feel very proud to have employees like yourself with integrity that does the right thing, and basically um, you go with your heart. Nowakowski says he meant no harm and denies the accusations made in this letter to the mayor and the city manager from Judicial Watch. The group claims the two called Virgillo on his personal cell, urged him not to second-guess himself. The group suggests the two also may have tampered with the witness. Nowakowski says that's not accurate. And I said, well, Sergio, if there's anything I can do as the vice mayor, if you'd like me to come down to your house or even talk to one of your family members to let you know how proud we are and that we have individuals like yourself with integrity and that does the right thing, let me know. And that was basically it. If that's called tampering, then I tampered. The three-page letter ends with some tough talk, claiming the councilman called Officer Virgillo twice to encourage him to testify against a fellow officer and possibly to influence his testimony. This conduct, they claim, was clearly improper, if not a felony. Exactly what I said. I basically just encouraged them doing the right thing, and if there's anything we can do as a city, boom, we're there to support them. Mm -hmm. And when they do the right thing and they have that integrity and service, the leadership of the city should need to tell them that you guys keep up the great work and continue doing the right thing. And that's what I did and Michael Johnson did, basically. We also know that Officer Virgillo told his supervisors about this in an email exchange that's been obtained by Fox 10. That supervisor claims that Virgillo asked him not to be contacted by those councilmen again. He also told the supervisor that he felt awkward during all this. I'm Major Hasbin, Fox 10 News.